Okay, so let's say I wanted to sketch y is equal to x plus 3 all squared plus 2. So this is going back to core 1 material here. Now, because this is in completed square form for the parabola, I should be able to identify that the vertex is minus 3, 2. So minus 3, 2, and somewhere around about here. Now I can also say where it crosses the y-axis by expanding this and working out that constant term. So 3 squared plus 2, so 9 plus 2 is 11. So it crosses through 11 on the y-axis. So the parabola would look something like this. Okay. Now, you'd be able to say that it doesn't cross the x-axis, because that would be putting y is equal to 0, and so you'd have minus 2 is x plus 3 squared, and you can't square root that negative 2. Okay, so it doesn't cross the x-axis. So we can employ similar techniques if we were to sketch a parabola where we've got a y squared instead of an x squared. Okay, so let's say I've got this x equals y plus 4 squared minus 9. So, let's draw ourselves some axes. Now let's see if we can identify uh, the vertex first. So the vertex will be when y is minus 4. So when y is minus 4, we're going to get 0 squared take away 9, so x is minus 9. So minus 9 minus 4 will be somewhere down here. So minus 9, minus 4. Now what else can I find out? I could also find out where it's crossing the x-axis. So that's when y is 0. So when y is 0, I get 4 squared, take away 9, so that's 7. So it's crossing the y-axis at 7. So that's somewhere up here. Right, what else can I say? I can find out where it's crossing uh, the y-axis. So that's when x is 0. So when x is 0, I get y plus 4 squared equals uh, minus 9. So 9 is y plus 4 squared. So square root both sides, we can get plus or minus 3 is equal to y plus 4. So y is plus or minus 3, take away 4. So that would be a minus 1 and minus 7. So minus 1 and minus 7, somewhere down here. So if I can try and draw this fairly accurately. Like so. Okay? So this would be the problem that I'm working with there. So we can identify the vertex uh, because it's in the completed square form. Okay? And then, just make sure you get these coordinates around the right way. Then you can work out where it crosses the x-axis and where it crosses the y-axis. Finding these three points should give you a clue as to where that vertex should be. So if it miraculously appears up here, or over here, or over here, you know you've gone wrong. Okay, because your other points are inconsistent with it being there. But that's how we can sketch a parabola like this.